Welcome home, fellas. We're here in J Times Garage again. We got a project for you. Fun little project. We got a Kawasaki mule here. It's a 4010. Um, it's great. It's got a winch on the front, like you can see. What it doesn't have is a front trailer hitch. So there's no spot factory provided here to put on a hitch. So we got to do a little project, figure out a way to put this on here. So what we're going to do, we're going to look around the shop, see what we have. So this actually might work out perfect. Oh. All right, let's go take a look. All right, so what we have here is an old trailer hitch from a Ford Explorer that I sold years ago. I've got a couple of these actual hitches here that we can probably use. So if we put this on low on the mule, we'll be able to attach things, move it around the yard. What we have to do now is figure out how to cut this down, fashion it to a plate that can be bolted on to the mule. So I'm looking at this and the actual square tubing goes all the way through the hitch here. So it's probably, what is that? Maybe five inches long. That's really all I want. So now we're going to try to clean this up with the plasma cutter. All right, <clears throat> well, we've got our little piece here. This was quite a bit of work. Went fine. Just took a while. It took maybe, I don't know, it took maybe an hour to get that cut out and all cleaned up. Um, I'm going to drill an extra hole in here. So when I put the receiver in, I'd like the receiver to land a little bit deeper. So now we just need to make a plate for this thing to weld on, make some gussets, and then we can bolt that onto the mule. All right, so we drilled an extra hole through here. So let's see if we're lucky and it lines up right. Haha, it does. So let this be a lesson to you. Measuring and paying attention and measuring twice and being very exact and precise in your work is very important. I'm just lucky because I didn't do any of that. I made my cardboard template. This concept of making a cardboard template, garbage. So, Charlie, come in here. We've got our base plate done, cut out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight holes drilled, which will bolt onto the frame of the mule. We've got this all cleaned up, the receiver piece, beveled the edges. Uh, it's time to weld this on, and then we'll probably put some gussets on the sides. Haha, -ha. success. How's it look? It's upside down. Got the holes drilled, watered the receiver piece on, put a little gusseting on the bottom. So, like I always do, at the end of this video, stay tuned because I've got a long list of things I should have done better, things I learned, and tools I need to buy. Back from Lowe's, got a bag of grade eight bolts. Let's bolt the sucker on and tow some. Ta-da! 
all done. Eight grade eight bolts on a quarter steel plate going through this 3 16 angle cross member welded to the frame. Alright, so what did I learn? What would I do differently? More importantly, what would I buy? Let's start with that. What would I buy? A good quality hardened steel center punch to make holes to guide the drill bit in when you're drilling. I ordered one, it cost me $50, but I would have paid $350 to have it last night. Number two, uh, what did I learn? Patience. When you're working on these types of projects, take your time, do a good job, don't rush set it aside and come back to if you're getting frustrated this was a small little fabrication project but i got really angry a couple times um number three clean your dang shop my shop got really messy tight crowded tripping over cords knocking stuff over air hoses everywhere power cords everywhere don't do that where was i oh buy a good welding helmet mine sucks also learn how to use your dang welder i spent a whole bunch of money on this real fancy millermatic welder and you could just set the dial and you can run a gun Last time I was welding, I was using aluminum. So I had the spool gun on and I had the dial set to make aluminum. I didn't turn the dial back. So I'm trying to weld my steel with the aluminum settings. Uh, I have no idea if it'll hold. Okay, last thing I wanna say before we wrap this up, uh, the whole project was a failure. Here's why. Sorry, I don't know how to work GoPros. Ah, uh, so why is it a failure? You saw in that clip right there, as the mule was pulling forward the hitch, there was a lot of flex. So what's going on? I talked in this video, oh, I got this 3 inch steel angle iron welded to the frame. Yeah, that's fine. It bent, it bends, it's flexible. Um, so the crossbar between the two front frame pieces, I thought would be strong enough to bolt the hitch to. The hitch itself is very strong, no problems there, but the piece that it's mounted to, it bends and flexes. I have some pretty good ideas of how I can reinforce that. Basically just a couple pieces of plate going from the top of that angle back to the actual frame itself. Should take care of it, but that's for another video. Thanks for watching.